it's Spacey Sims, and we are back with more Amnesia Memories. Are you awake? Good morning! This is the third time you've woken up in this room now. Look over there. Thomas still asleep on the floor. His blanket moved. He looks cold. He's been sneezing for a while. Yeah, I think it would be best if you fixed his blanket. Spacey? What? You can't sleep alone? Did he just pull us onto him? Is this alright? Um, hi. Look at how goofy she looks with her giant ear, too. Like, they make, they draw them, like, so gorgeous. And then they kind of always, like, we always have this, like, uh, duh, look on our face. It's so weird. Is this alright? You're always so hopeless when you're alone, Spacey. What? What bad timing? Teacher, she's crying. Spacey is crying again. Oh my, what's wrong, Spacey? It's nap time right now. Um, she said she wanted to go to her big brother in giraffe class. In giraffe class? Oh, you mean Toma. But it's nap time for giraffe class too, you know. What about me? We could take a nap together. Is that no good? Oh dear. Teacher. Oh, Toma, what is it? I could hear Spacey crying, so I came over. You're a very kind older brother. Your brother came to see you. Isn't that nice of him? Can you come over here, Spacey? God, we're a whiny little sack of shit. You can't sleep, Spacey? I'll hold your hand. Can you sleep if I do that? Teacher, can I bring my mat to rabbit class? Hmm, let's see. Okay, but just for today. I'll go talk to the teacher of giraffe class. Okay, thanks. Spacey, try to sleep by yourself tomorrow, okay? Come over here, Spacey. I'll sleep here with you. Don't be lonely. Uh -huh. Spacey? Huh. Wait, what? Oh. Sorry, I was half asleep. I thought I felt something. You shouldn't have... Oh, you should have woken me up. You don't need to stay quiet if I grab onto you like that. Ah, oh, damn it. I must, it must be because I was having a dream about the past. You really are warm. You were so small back then, but you've grown so much. Wait, I sound like a father or something. But you're still cute. That's enough. I'll let you go. He's kind of infuriating. I mean, I'm, I'm finding him being a little weird, keeping us prisoner. And the whole, like, yeah, you're really cute, but I can't get off on you. Like, but it's like, but, <laughs> but you know what I mean? He's like, or are you trying to seduce me? I would have thought you would have worn something sexier. I mean, I can't think of you like that. But it's like, I'm not sure what you're fucking trying to do. Are you trying to force us to fall in love with you? Because I don't, this is, it's weird. I'm confused. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I should take back what I said before. I can't say I wouldn't start feeling things in a situation like this. You've grown too much. You're definitely an adult woman. Uh, anyway, he's blushing, though. I'll be out for a little while. I'm going to take a look at your house. Be sure to put on some clothes by the time I get back. It's dangerous for you to just be in pajamas, for a lot of reasons. Don't like we slept naked. So he says... What's with Toma? He said before that he wouldn't feel that way after all this time, but he does feel tense around you sometimes. Maybe the situation just now made things even more dangerous. You can't let down your guard indoors or outdoors now. Mm, this could be bad. What do you think about this? I'm not sure how to feel about it. Mm, I see. I guess that means you don't know whether it's a good or bad thing. I mean, you have to be near Toma all the time now, and it's just a little at a time, but a lot of memories are coming back. But it's strange. You're remembering a lot of stuff from when you were kids, but nothing after becoming lovers. Remembering that could cause a dramatic recovery. Two hours later. I'm back. Sorry for leaving you alone. Did you eat anything? No? Were you waiting for me? You can take whatever you want from the refrigerator, though I guess there isn't much left in there now. We should be alright for today, but we should go shopping tomorrow. You'll need to get outside once in a while, too. Yeah, like a fucking prisoner. Mm, maybe I'll make some coffee first. Wait, some iced tea would be better for summer. Oh, right, right. I took a look at your place. Nothing in particular has changed. That's all I've got to report on that. 
Iced tea, or is it too cold for that? Hmm, so we went to check up on your house. I guess we can't just leave it alone for too long. But then there's no need to go every single day. That's a lot of work. Oh, and also, it took a long time for him to just be checking your house. Maybe he stopped somewhere else. He was probably rolling around on our sheets and wearing all of our underwear. I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. It's nighttime. It's also time to go to sleep. You can go ahead and sleep first. I've still got things to do. Well, I guess we should just go to sleep then. Good night. That's okay, right? Yeah, let's just sleep. Okay, let's do that. I'd like to get outside tomorrow. I wonder if we'll be able to. Anyway, good night. Besides, Orion's not going to sleep. He's going to look out for us. Or we're going to wake up being molested. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I'm, I just, I don't know. I mean, like, okay, he's keeping us here, but it's not like we're trying to leave and he's forcing us here. But at the same time, it's a little weird that, like, I feel like a prisoner and I know that he's trying to protect us, but at the same time, he's being really, really freaking weird about it and creepy, kind of. It's just, it's a little bizarre. I'm sorry, bird. My bird is, like, looking at me like, I mo you moved your hand. How dare you? Shh, get up quietly. It looked like Toma was up until dawn writing a report. It's probably an assignment from his school. He seemed to be having a hard time. He's tired and sleeping right now, so if you're going to go to the bathroom to change, you should do it quietly. <laughs> He's still sound asleep. He might not wake up for a while. Shuffling around the room or playing games would be rude. What should we do? I know. Hey, why don't we drop by your place? It's been a while. You're just going to your own apartment. It should be okay. Besides, we won't make much progress if we just stay here all the time. You've got an extra key. Let's go. Grab our bag and, bag and run. Hope Yukio doesn't find us. Are we lost now? Oh, we walked past the campus. I don't remember doing that on the way to his house. I'm going to be upset if the mailbox is a huge mess like last time, though. Let's see. The mailbox is... It looks okay. I guess there was no sense in worrying. But the smell is still there. It stinks like rotten eggs. Yuck. It's been several days. I'm surprised it hasn't gone away yet. I guess that smell will just take more time. I seriously wonder what was up with those eggs and bugs. Maybe it was a prank. I think it was Toma trying to freak us out. We're home! We're back! Oh, welcome back! It really has been a long time. I wonder if anything's changed. Well, there shouldn't be. Hmm. There is something different! Hey, isn't that your computer battery over there? It is, isn't it? Wow, we got lucky! Now we can use the computer! But it's kind of strange that it's in such an easy-to-find spot. Maybe we missed it when we were searching for it before? But I feel like we looked here so many times. Oh well, let's put the battery in. Computer start up. Maybe we should check your emails first. Let's see. I bet he deleted them. Huh? What's this? Go to hell, 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 go to hell. Stupid bitch, stupid bitch, stupid bitch. Wow. Break up, break up, break up. What? Wait, what's the meaning of this? What's with these scary emails? Spam? Is it spam? No, spam is usually asked, telling you to... It's trying to sell you drugs to enlarge your penis when you don't have one, but... Hey, look, what's this? This was kind of normal looking. Troll. I've got time. Let's meet at Mayuga Station at 6. I'll show you a good time. How does 20,000 yen sound? Is two guys at once all right? We really want to meet you, Spacey. I want to see a close-up. The images you posted aren't that clear, but you look super cute. Oh my god, do are we like a cam girl? The hooker? This isn't normal. Ah, uh, I was wrong. This isn't spam. It had your name, and it had Mayuga Station on it? 
His people know who you are. They were talking about photos. Does this mean your photos were uploaded somewhere on the internet? You didn't do this when you still had your memories, right? Nobody normal would do that. Uh, this is bad. We need to calm down. I'm sure you're shocked too. Let's just try to calm down. Let's see, about these emails. The ones saying things like die are definitely harassment, right? They could be chain emails, but if we think the worst of the worst possibility, it's harassment directed at you. I wonder if we broke up with Toma and he was crazy and sent us those emails and posted pictures of us up somewhere and like basically told people I was a whore or something. I mean, you know he's fucking crazy. Like, he went to pick me up and he dropped me and then he was like, I'm just gonna leave her tonight! Ah! And, like, went ballistic in, like, Shin's path. So, I mean, like, I don't I don't know. I, I just, I... I don't know. Anyway. The other emails consist of things like hookups and they seem to be people who know who you are. If some third party has been leaking your personal information to these people looking for women, the conclusion is that someone out there is something terrible against you. Uh, I can't believe this. This was way too scary. Most of them just say die or break up, though. Hmm, break up. If they're saying to break up, could that mean the culprit sending these threatening emails is an ex-girlfriend of Toma's? Or maybe it's someone he's cheating on you with right now. Right? But still, even if we don't think of Toma cheating as a cause of this, it's still consistent to think that Toma's off doing things that we don't know about. Here, look closely at this email's timestamp. The first suspicious email came in yesterday at 11 a.m. And yesterday, Toma came back from your place around 11.20. And if I'm just... And... Oh, wait. If... And I'm just saying if... If Toma has been coming here every day to erase these harassment emails, then that would be why this is the oldest email here, right? Toma knows something about these emails, and he's been coming here every day to erase something inconvenient to him. And while you were in the hospital, he hid things like the battery and charger to make sure you couldn't use the computer. You came here before Toma was able to, and that's why you managed to see these things today. But if that's the only thing he's doing, he wouldn't need to come here every single day. He could just take your computer too. That way he'd be able to erase these while you slept. Does that mean Toma had some other reason besides his computer to come to your place? Oh... Hey, maybe it was Tomo who cleaned up the eggs and bugs in the mailbox the other day. After knowing what they did to the mailbox, he might have been coming here every day to check if they did it again. And it's possible that they're still doing it and Tomo's cleaning it up each time, too? I mean, the mailbox was still super smelly. It was too fresh for something from several days ago. Let's set aside the who thing about him cheating for now. What do you think about my reasoning about the harassment stuff? I think there's more to it. Oh, I see. At the very least, we can't really talk to Toma about all the emails and mailbox pranks right now. Toma's trying to hide it from you, so we'll need to figure out the right timing to talk to him about it. Oh, it might not be such a good idea to be outside for long. We might even end up bumping into him. Let's hurry back. We'll just say we went out for a walk. Uh, I thought we'd at least be able to find something, some information here. Oh, I know. An album. Is there an album like you saw at Toma's place around here? Let's see, this book is Basics of Educational Psychology, Reports on Physiotherapy. Ah, oh, these are textbooks. Hmm, it looks like there's a small notebook stuck between the textbooks. Oh, it is a diary! It is a diary. This is a diary! It's a good thing we found this! Let's just take this diary and go back. We never know when Toma could show up. I'm afraid to walk out the door. I really am. I was afraid he was going to be there. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm almost afraid of him catching us. And not, because I feel like, I don't know. I'm not sure if he's trying to protect us from these emails or if he's, we should be wary of him. And maybe I'm wrong to like, have kind of just read the, their suspicious shit. Whoa. What? That was close. I was about to open the door just now, you know? And where were you? I woke up and you were gone. I was really worried. Just went for a walk. A walk? Do you even realize why you're at my house? Tell me the next time you go out. I was really worried. Please. Ah, he got mad. Oh, right. What should we do with the diary we brought back? 
It's not something you can read in front of Toma, so I guess we should check it out later. Just put it in your bag for now. I'm going to make coffee. Want some? Or I can make tea instead. Sounds good. I guess we can take a break now. You know what I mean? Like, I maybe everyone like saying, oh, it's creepy because he's like basically keeping us a prisoner almost, which is a little awkward and weird, but maybe it's not bad. I mean, it's not like... So far, he hasn't really done anything wrong that we're aware of, so I don't know. Tom has been looking at the computer for a long time. We can't see the screen from here. I wonder what he's doing. I'll ask what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, this? It's a report. The class I'm in is some tough assignments. I don't even have time to work. You'll have trouble if you take the same classes as I do. You probably have to quit work, too. That might not be so bad. I can trust the manager, but that cafe is just weird. Weird? Why? Welcome back, master. The first time I saw you there, I nearly had a heart attack. Shin was frozen, too. Wait, is Maido no Hi Hitsuji a maid cafe? I'm the one who brought you here, but I thought you just work in the kitchen. I'm the one who brought you there. And if you're going to do that at the cafe anyways, you could do it for... No, never mind. Anyway, it's already like, what, I could do it for you? Take care of you, be your little housewife while you lock me in, is that it? It's already late. I need to get going soon. Oh no! Hey, what should we do? We opened all the emails you got, but we didn't erase any of them, did we? That means if Toma turns the computer on, he'll know we looked through them. All you did was look through your own emails, but that shouldn't be a problem, but... Still. Hey, is there anything we could do to stop Toma from going? Molest him? I'm going to be out for a little while. Don't leave. Why? You need something? This is a surprise. How many years has it been since you've been so honest and affectionate with me? Uh, I thought you two were going out. If you say you'll be lonely, I can't refuse. I'll stay here today. You're scared, right? A lot of strange things have happened lately. It's okay, Spacey. I made a promise a long time ago that I'd, I said I'd protect you from anything scary. I'll protect you. I swear on it. I, I don't know how to feel about Toma. I'm a little... I don't know. I'm confused. He's no Kent. Oh, Kento. Good morning! Toma's already awake. He's looking in the refrigerator with a troubled expression on his face, though. Uh-oh, I messed up. This is bad. It's almost empty. How is there only barley tea and wasabi left in here? Yes, yeah, seriously. Ugh. Ah, oh, you're awake. Morning. You mind, have, you mind having rice cakes for breakfast? I didn't go shopping yesterday, so I don't even have bread or rice. I've got a ton of rice cakes in the freezer that my mom gave me, so it would actually help if you ate some. She said she couldn't eat all the rice cakes my granddad gave her, so she gave them to me. She said something about a taste of home away from home, but we live in the same city. Although, I do agree with my parents when they say men should experience living on their own. So should women. But there's no need to taste of home away from home when you're so close. And do rice cakes even taste different? I can't tell. Huh, so the reason Toma's living alone is because his parents encouraged him to. And it sounds like his parents' house is really close. I see. I wonder if we'll have a chance to visit. Maybe you'd have memories there. Anyway, we should go shopping this afternoon. You'll come too, right? I'm sure you don't like just sitting around here. Maybe I should use the oven. Nah, I'll just use the microwave. How should I defrost these? Sounds like he'll take you with him today. That's good, Spacey. Shopping, huh? I wonder where we'll go. I hope we can get some stimulation out of this. Guess we're not just going to the neighborhood supermarket. Maybe he wants to buy something big. I'll pay for everything today. You can go ahead and pick some clothes and cosmetics on your own. I'm sure you'll in need I'm sure you're in need of hair products and other stuff. Huh? At first, I thought you would be able to go back home after two or three days. You thought the same thing, right? That's why you didn't bring very much stuff over. But this is already the fifth day. I'd let you go home if I wasn't uh I'd let you go home if I was sure you'd be safe, but... I'm sorry, could you put up with this just a little longer? See, this is weird. Why can't we just go home and pick up... That, that'd be so dumb, like, Hey, we live in the same town, and it's not like you're far away. It's not like I'm visiting for a week and I'm out of town, but I'm, I'm down the street. 
But we can't go to your house and pick up more clothes. We'll just buy you new stuff. That seems really fucking awkward. Anyway, you've been staying at my place for a while now, so I figured you'd need more clothes. Since you pack lightly, you're starting to run out. It seemed like you were out of lotion, too. Is he right? Wow, Toma pretends like he's not looking, but he really is. And if he's going to buy you this stuff, he might as well let you stop by your place. He could just escort you. Although going would still be kind of scary. Anyway, this will be a good change of pace after being shut indoors all this time. I'll shop with you. Well then, let's go. Which store do you want to go on for go to first? Let's go to the clothing store. The lingerie shop. Well, alright then, let's go take a look. I wonder if we get to choose all the stores. All we did was browse. Are you sure you don't want anything? Same as usual, I guess. You're satisfied just window shopping and never buying anything. I can't tell if you like the act of browsing itself or you just have very few desires. Anyway, I guess we're done with the clothing store. Okay, I got it. You do need that after all. I'll just wait in front of the store. I think the cafe was over there. But you're gonna... Where's my cash? This is your boyfriend, right? Come on in! Oh, he's so adorably embarrassed! Okay, I love this. You're shopping together already. I'm sure you'd like to choose something together, too. <laughs> I love it. Look at how... I love us. Look, at we're laughing at him. We're like, ah... Or unless that's the shop employee. I'm not, I think it's the shop employee, but that's adorable. She's, like, laughing at him, and he's so embarrassed. <laughs> There's, like, a bra in the background. <laughs> oh, no, I... This is our best seller of the season. It comes in a set with a chiffon camisole, and the back is especially lovely. No, I said I... Ah, oh, but your girlfriend would look good in a showy bra like this, too. It's lacy and bold when combined with this outer piece. I'm trying to say... This one shows off devilish little lines, too. It's very sexy. I'll measure her first. Measure? Yes, yes, with her size, I can definitely recommend this. Perfect. Oh, do you want to try it on? Try it... On? Okay, Mr. Boyfriend, wait over here. Are you ready yet? Tell me when you're done changing. I'll draw back the curtain. <laughs> we're gonna model for him. I love the fact that we're like, damn. This is how you fuck. This is this is what you do with a guy. Like, especially if he's interested and you're like, he's kind of interested, but he's not doing anything. You're like, let's go browsing. I'm gonna go in Victoria's Secret. Does this bra look good on me? What the fuck? That's a good way to mess with a man. Only if you actually like him, though. You shouldn't just fuck with someone you don't actually like. Especially if he likes you. Because that would be mean. But anyway. Wow, you're super cute! What do you think? It suits her perfectly, doesn't it? And we can top it off with this elegant piece. Oh, would you like to try on one of our imported sets? This one is very popular. It's super soft to the touch. Wanna give it a feel? Let's see, what else? Oh wait, Mr. Boyfriend, you can't leave now! How is it? Is the fit okay? I'll open the curtain. I fucking love that. We're gonna spend an hour in the lingerie store. Are you testing me or something? Uh, yeah. I thought this was a little too much, too. I said some stimulation would be nice, but I didn't mean stimulation for Toma. You realize we're living together now, right? We're alone together at home. Don't get undressed like that in front of a man so readily. Don't show me your underwear. I'd be more than happy to help you choose if we weren't living together. So it's okay to see me in my underwear if we don't live together, but because we live in the same place, it's totally inappropriate. I live with you. You might as well just put out. Just for God fucking sakes. Put out, Toma! I said that really loud. My neighbors are probably like, what? Sheesh. It'll... It'll be it if I start thinking you're just trying to tempt me. You should realize that. It wouldn't be funny if I did something to you when you came to my place to escape danger from outside in the first place. Watch yourself tonight. If I remember all of this from just now, it wouldn't be a surprise if I tried something. I'll try to control myself. Uh, Spacey, do you think we should buy a taser or something? Got it. Then let's head over. I love the lingerie store. That was so fucking fun. But I also hate the fact that we're like, I'm going to go to the lingerie store. It's one of the options. We have to go there. And then we get chided for doing it. Like, we sure did buy a lot of stuff. Shampoo, too? Was mine no good? They say hair care, and the hair can be a girl's life, but I guess it matters more than I thought. 
The one you were using before had a picture of a magical girl on it. But I guess using the stuff you normally use is best. I really like the scent of your hair. I ended up realizing that in bed the other day. Anyway, that's it for the drugstore. Ah, you want something to help pass the time. Okay, let's go. I don't really mind what you chose to buy. But what's this family relations book? An etiquette for the working adult? Well, it would be a big problem if you did something crazy offensive at work, right? You just started at the university. Are you already thinking about job hunting? If you're worried, I can give you advice. Yeah, <laughs> this is hard to explain. Anyway, that's enough for the bookstore. That should be enough shopping for you. Now we just need to buy food. Well, let me know if you want something in particular. Hmm, I took a pretty long time, but we should be set for a while now. Thanks for coming, Spacey. Let's get home quickly and rest. It got pretty crowded all of a sudden. Isn't today Sunday? This is bad. I've lost track of the days since summer vacation started. Huh? Hey, the girl behind you just pulled scissors from her bag. Watch out! What was that sound? She cut your hair! What happened to your hair? Ah! <laughs> Who are you? Idiot! You're a real eyesore! What? Damn it! Wait, you little... No, I shouldn't. My priority shouldn't be her. Are you okay? Where did she cut you? Was it just your hair? Looks like it was just a section of hair. You're fine otherwise, right? That was scary, Spacey. You're okay, right? What a relief. What the fuck is with the cutting of the hair? What is going on? Were we, like, messing... It, it, does this have something to do with the whole EQU thing again? Like, we talked to EQU and, like, now these girls are trying to kill us? No, I can't say you're okay. She cut your hair. That bitch. I'm gonna track her down when we get back and make her truly regret what she just did to you. Let's hurry home. It was careless of me to bring you outside like this. I'm sorry. Or he's having people do shit like this to us to perpetuate us needing to be inside and being afraid of going outside and becoming agoraphobic and relying on him for everything. I'm just saying it's possible. <sighs> Show me where you were cut. Can you turn around? She's got the section... Uh, she got the section right at the center of your back, about 10 centimeters and 5 centimeters across. You might be able to hide it by brushing it, but being able to hide it doesn't make it okay. I feel bad. It looks like you shouldn't walk around outside for several more days. It's too dangerous. We could have avoided it if- we- oh, we could have avoided it if I had noticed her a little sooner. I'm sorry, Spacey. Why are we remembering his neck? I won't forgive that girl. I swear I'll find her and get rid of her for doing this to you. I made a huge mistake today, but it won't happen again. I'll protect you no matter what, Spacey. But I'm sorry. I couldn't do anything about- Oh, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything about this. You're going through such a hard time, but I can't do anything. I'm so sorry. Just hold me. <laughs> I want this to end happily, but I'm kind of- I don't know. Hey, Spacey, are you okay? Today was really harsh. Why do you think like things like this have to happen to you? I don't know what you did, but... No, it doesn't matter what you did. Cowardly acts like this can't be forgiven. Do you have any idea who that person was? Well, I guess you wouldn't. Toma called her that girl, but I wonder if he knows who she is. Or maybe not. I wonder what the situation is. It's really fru I'm really frustrated. I'm definitely on his side about getting payback. I wonder if there's any way to figure out who she was. It's nearly 12. It might be best to sleep. It's not like there's anything good on TV now, and I'm sure you're tired. I'll go to sleep too. I need to get some sleep, cool my head, and try to think straight. I'm going to turn off the lights. Is that okay? Are you able to get a proper enough sleep in my bed? Are you used to being with me? I guess you would be. We've been together since we were kids. Although you stopped meeting up with me for a while around the university entrance exams. You were... avoiding me then. To be honest, I thought you were distancing yourself from me. I was shocked. I still feel that way now a little. But after you started distancing yourself like that, I kind of started losing confidence. I... Spacey, I want you to know that I would never uh, do anything to hurt you. And I won't let anyone else hurt you either. Up until now, and from now on. 
It seems a little weird. Why were we distancing ourselves from him? Like, was he really just creepy stalkerish? Is he putting these people up to attacking us? Like, I don't know. But anyway, I am going to wrap this part up here. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.